I am so sick of these eco protesters, but this is not the way. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This one's a tough one, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been seeing this story starting to trend out there, but this American lawyer, 77, was busted in Panama after taking down two eco protesters that were blocking a highway in shocking video. Now, we're going to go through the video. I'm not going to show you uh, the part in question. That obviously is incredibly shocking um, because we want to stay on YouTube here. Um, but I, I want to sort of set up the tone. So here's what was happening. There was a protest nation in Panama against the government. Roads had been blocked, preventing people from traveling freely and holding up food supplies, causing supermarkets to run out of food. In this case, the road was blocked by teachers on strike. The first person asked was a teacher. Media was present at the time. For this reason, it's been well documented. Now, look, before we even play this, and there's no justification, these blockings of streets have gotten so out of hand. And I understand for some, it's it's that serious, but this is not the way to then suddenly punish stop food supplies and do all these other things. This is not the way. And this video is going to be proof as to why we need to stop this sort of stuff. Granted, this is in Panama. It's a little bit more complicated, I suppose, but we got to arrest these people who are causing this much stoppage. It's just not okay. This is not the good kind of attention because now lost, you know, lives are being lost. So here is this guy fed up. And then he's so fed up, he pulls out, you know, a piece. Now, I don't know about you, but that alone would cause me to stop protesting. I would get the heck out of there. It's not worth whatever I'm protesting is not worth losing my life over. This isn't about getting arrested and making a statement. This dude's clearly unhinged if he's bringing out his piece and he's our and they're still arguing with him. Perhaps thinking like, oh, he's not going to go that far as he's now moving things and they're yelling at him to not. Now, again, I, I didn't know this until I did the homework. I, I had seen this clip around, but I didn't know they were teachers. Excuse me. That makes this so much sadder and so much tougher. Now they're calling for them to call the cops. If somebody called the police. Now at this point, at this point, I I have to pull away. I'm gonna turn this down so we don't get dinged here for what ends up happening. But uh, an individual. Let me see. Do I see the person? Uh, I can show you in this wide shot just because I can't show you the actual action. Um, I can't show it to you. Sorry. But an individual who is in the crowd is then hit by his piece and falls to the ground. Now, that person, from what we've been told, uh, was gone on the scene. He then, as some people scatter, he goes for another person and uh, hits him in the arm. That person uh, is clearly, it's, this is hard to watch, guys, is clearly not hit well, but is still there trying to uh, make amends. Then there's just chaos from the cameramen uh, as people then go to the people who have been hit. The one who got hit first seems to be gone pretty quickly. And from what all reports seem to say, uh, passed there on the site. The other one died on the way to the hospital. What's so just crazy about this, and, and, I, and again, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't want to show this because it's so extreme, but the the look at this guy, just like no emotion, like get out of the road, bang bang, and there's like people online that are like jokingly like cool with it, like yeah, enough of these ego protesters, and I'm just, I'm, it's really disturbing to see. Uh, I don't know why this is funny. There's nothing that warrants this kind of action, and this is so effed up and messed up. At the same time, like it's getting that intense, guys. That the people are so unhinged and losing it. This is how bad it is out there. At some of these protests, the people are now resorting to like, I'm, I'm done. Bang, bang, you're, we're done. And you can just see like this guy has no, and then to make matters even worse, he just goes back after these people are on the ground and everyone's crying, crazy, freaking out. He just goes back on it, on like, un, 
phased to just remove all the stuff from the street so people can go back to, you know, doing what they're doing. Um, now, and then everyone's just flipping out here. You can't really see the people here, but they're all just flipping out, trying to, like, help the people on the ground while the guy's just trying to get removed the stuff so he can move on. Now, thankfully, the policia did finally get there, and they did arrest him. He was handcuffed. We're going to go through more of who this guy was and what happened in the aftermath. But he was arrested because you can't just do that. Just because you're pissed off that there's a... Uh, even as these eco-protesters, you know, I'm not giving them the uh, a pass. Like, we, you can't do this kind of stuff. We did a whole one about it near uh, Burning Man that was just insane. And that guy drove through and it was dangerous. Uh, but at that point, I feel like... it Clearly, like, Warren, get out of here. Um... But this is how intense it's going. For what if someone got hit in that instance? What if someone got hit here? Some people are, are thinking like, well, it's, you you were warned, you were told, you saw it. Get out of there. It's your fault. That's where some people are now thinking, and it's just scary that that's where we are as a society. Where it's like, hey, we warned you. I'm gonna murder you if you don't get out. Well, all right, now I have a right to do it. Like, no, we we can't we can't let that kind of law happen. That's just not okay. That citizens can start just doing it because. They're annoyed or someone's doing something improper. Now, the the officers can arrest and do what they do. And if they're threatened, fine. But no, we can't resort to that kind of thing, in my opinion. I just going to hold the ground there. Now, here is, um uh, I, I guess he's the mayor. Someone involved from over in Panama. I express my condolences to the family of the two citizens who lost their lives. An incident that occurred this Tuesday in a sector of Panama. It's a fact that has no place in society called to be supportive like ours. Uh, translated in Spanish. Now, who was this guy? Kenneth Darlington. Uh, this is the fella. Here's where we are. Uh, I'm just making sure I can show you things. I got to be careful because some of the stuff is obviously we're making sure it's safe to share with you all. Um, this guy, Kenneth, um, was it was a lawyer? Oh my gosh, American lawyer. Look at this. Busted in Panama after after two eco protesters. Now who is he? Let's get into this. National police operated elderly adult allegedly linked to this incident. I mean, we clearly we, we saw the video. Uh, suspect wearing glasses, gray shirt, handcuffed to a pipe. Darlington is a lawyer and professor, holds dual citizenship in the U.S. and Panama, according to Newsroom Panama. The State Department has been contacted for email, local for comment by email. Local news reports said the, the protesters were, sh were shot by a driver who was trying to get past the protest. They're identified as Ivan Rodriguez and Abidel Diaz. Diaz died in the scene while Rodriguez was pronounced at the local hospital. They were hit with a pistol-type firearm at the moment uh, that there was an argument with the protesters who kept the road closed. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's more videos circulating appeared to show the alleged carrying the piece and removing a tire from the road before opening his stuff. The, the footage later shows the police taking the man into custody. Panama president expressed condolences. Uh, that was the president of Panama. Okay, that was your that quote I gave you. This is the event that has been no place in society called to be supportive like ours. The incident occurred in the third week of the nation's wide protests of over a contract giving final approval that allowed the local subsidiary of Canadian mining company First Quantum Minerals to continue operating an open pit copper mine in a richly biodiverse jungle. There was also an option to extend for another 20 years. What? Incident in the third? That's another protest? So it's not teachers? Roadblocks set up by the protesters caused up to $80 million in daily losses to businesses. Reuters reported citing Panama's association company executives. Schools have been closed nationwide for a week. Since the protests began, the government almost passed legislation that would have revoked their contract, but later backtracked. According to local news, a protester was run over on November 1st by a foreigner attempting to cross a railroad block. Uh, yikes, I didn't realize. So it's, I guess it's not, that, or I guess just she was a teacher, but this is about Canadian mining minerals in bio biodiverse jungle in Panama for the next 20 years. There was also an option to extend for another 20 years and return for 375 million in annual revenue. So they're just trying to mine the it out there. And clearly they were fed up like, no enough. So look, I got to look more in this issue. Like maybe this wasn't just sort of like a, Hey, let's stop green gases. Maybe this really is affecting Panama in a serious way. Either way, it's not worth losing your life over. Um, and these are these types of protests and strikes are happening all over the world now. Uh, and uh, it's scary that this is where it's going to resort to. That people like this can just get so unhinged. This is the warning. This is what's going to happen. Now, if you do that, you're going to get arrested, as you should, good deservedly. Uh, but 
this site right here is terrifying. Oh, and the, and the full video is really triggering. I, I don't advise you watch. We gave you the summary here. Hopefully that was enough for you. But what are your thoughts on this? Uh, have you seen this out there? Have you seen people trying to mock this and justify it? Are you as disgusted as I am? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Yes, these protesters are annoying, but this obviously can't be what we do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'm curious your thoughts on this. We've got so much more. and We'll be live later today here on Popcorn Planet. Hope to see you guys there.